Thank you guys for all your comments. And in my previous video comments, you asked me to make a video on how to create a bootable macOS Big Sur USB flash drive. So today I'm going to show you how it's done. And first of all, I want to show you how I made my clean installs for all the other macOS versions in the previous years. There was this Disk Maker X that made everything in the background. You just needed to plug in the USB drive, download the original macOS installer file, and it did everything for you in the background. But in this year, it shows you that Disk Maker X is not and won't be compatible with macOS Big Sur. So therefore, there's one and only method to create a macOS Big Sur bootable flash, and that is by using a native terminal app. And first of all, we need to have at least 16 GB USB flash drive because the macOS Big Sur installation is now 12 plus GB. And the first step is to plug in your USB flash. It will appear on your desktop. Yes, there it is. First of all, you need to open Disk Utility app. Just type in in the spotlight Disk Utility. Click Enter. And there you see all your drives. This is my SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 drive. And we need to erase it. Let's name it USB Flash. And the format should be Mac OS Extended Journaled. So you need to format only in this Mac OS Extended Journaled format. After that, before you make anything like this, your USB flash will be deleted, formatted, and please do not keep any important files on it. It should be totally empty, so we can move on with the next step. After you selected the format, just click Erase. And as you see, it's done very quickly. Click Done. And as you see, your USB flash is in Mac OS Extended Journal format. So what we're gonna do is just click Command Quit. Let's go out from this utility app. Step number two. We need to download the Mac OS Big Sur installation file. So we need to go to the App Store. And as we go to the App Store, in the search bar, write in Mac OS Big Sur. Click Enter. Now you can see Mac OS Big Sur. Click on View. Click on Get. And you can now click download. It's Mac OS Big Sur 11.1. Click download and you can see it downloads 12.2 gigabytes. So you need at least the 16 gigabyte of USB flash. It says 15 minutes. So I'll be right back after the download completes. And just a couple of seconds away and download will complete. As soon as you see the application show up as an install process, just click Command Quit and quit the installation. Let's close the software update. Let's quit from the App Store. And step number three, you need to open Finder, go to Applications, scroll till you see the Mac OS Big Sur installer. There it is. Now, secondary click or right click, what do you have on your computer? And show package contents, click on it. Now open contents and in the contents open resources. There you can see a bunch of folders, but what we really need is a create install media. Almost the last one here. So don't close this window, just put it aside so it stands here. Step number four, launch the terminal app. Search for terminal, click enter. Now you can see the terminal app and from here the bootable flash process is starting. Type in following sudo following by space on spacebar. Step 5. You need to drag the create install media to the terminal window from the resources folder. Here. Step number 6. You need to type in two times dash 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 write volume followed by space on spacebar. We can minimize this window. Don't need it right now. Step number seven, open Finder again, new Finder window. Click on the Go here and go to the folder 
or a shortcut is shown, Shift Command G or just go to folder. And after that, it shows you slash volumes. That is what you need to type in. You just need to type in slash volumes and click the go button. And what you see right now is the USB flash, the same as you see here, that we formatted in macOS Extended Journal. And on step 7, we discovered our USB flash in the volumes from Finder. Step number 8. Connect the USB flash drive to your Mac. It should appear in the Finder window. We already did that at the beginning of this video. So if you haven't connected your USB flash at the beginning, you can do it right now. And in the volume section, you will see the USB flash icon appear. Step number 9. You need to drag the USB flash drive volume into the terminal window. Step number 10, you need to press the return key, enter or return key on the keyboard and when prompted enter your password. You just click the return key and it asks me for my computer administrator password. So you just type in your computer password and click return key once again. Step number 11, when prompted type a letter Y and as you can see to continue we need to erase the volume at the flash drive and if you wish to continue type Y then press return. We do that and click return and now the process is starting as you can see 0, 10, 20, 30 percents by erasing the disk and the next step when the files are copied into disk may take a while longer. As you can see there is already a 10 percent progress but it will take a while so I'll be back after the installation is finished. And we are nearing at the end of the copying process. Right now it shows 90% and it's roughly about 23 minutes depending on how fast USB flash drive you have. Mine is USB 3.0 so it's a bit faster but anyway it's about 25 to 30 minutes of process because of the 12 gigabytes of macOS Big Sur installer file. And now it says 100% and making disk bootable. We need to wait a little bit more. And now we can see it's finally done. The full file copying process took about 27 minutes. Now you can just quit the terminal app with command quit. And this USB drive is now a bootable macOS Big Sur. Let's open it. It shows only an install macOS Big Sur app on it. But inside it's been created to boot from it. So what you need to know, you just need to restart your computer, follow all the instructions you saw in my last video where I clean installed macOS Big Sur on the 2013 MacBook Air computer. So you just need to plug in your USB drive and when the computer restarts just hold the option key, the left or the right one, doesn't matter, it's option or alt key and then choose the install macOS Big Sur icon. So that's about it, that is how you make a bootable macOS as Big Sur USB flash, but for those who are using the newest Macs with Apple T2 security chip, that's a topic for another video. For those computers, it doesn't recognize the USB flash. There are some security settings you need to disable before you can install a macOS clean install on your computer. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and my Instagram profile at take you through as well. Take care. And let's meet in the next episode of Tech You Through.